start with Indra Peterson's covering the snow in Boston this morning. Morning, guys. You know, I keep thinking to myself, you know, it's not that bad. Once the wind kind of dies down, you're not seeing that much snow. And then I smile and my teeth literally sting. It's nine below right now. I changed my mind pretty quickly. Then you get a pretty good strong gust of wind. I turn around and I'm completely miserable. So you know what? Yeah, it's still not so great out here. We're talking about these temperatures well below zero. We're still talking about snow falling in the Massachusetts area. And just south of me, we're actually talking about snow drifts as high as 18 inches. And you know what? We're not alone. A lot of heavy snow fell across the northeast last night. So we're still talking about snow here in Boston. In fact, we just saw a ferry pull up here behind me. People got off. Looks like business as usual for them. Boston strong once again, because definitely this chill is here. Let's talk about the low right now that is still making its way offshore. So Massachusetts still looking for snow. Blizzard warnings right just south of us still for about 1 p.m. or so. Then it's all going to be about the winds picking up as that low strength is. So the snow on the ground, it's still expected to blow around and it's still expected to stay on the ground thanks to this cool Arctic air that is not going anywhere. In fact, another storm just north of us, another clipper will actually reinforce the cold air that's here. Back to you guys. All right, we can watch it gusting behind you. Thank you for being out there, Indra, giving us the science part of it. So now we're going to see the ripple effect. Another massive cold system is moving in today to the Midwest, and New York is expected to stay below freezing through the rest of the month, except for a brief reprieve this weekend. We are covering this story from all angles, of course. Let's start with meteorologist Indra Petersons in snow-covered Boston. Indra, how is it now? <laughs> Good news, guys. The winds have picked up. <laughs> Yay. So good 30 mile per hour gusts are out here, which means, yes, the wind chill has also gotten a little colder. We're talking about now feeling like 13 below the actual temperature here in Boston right now, about seven degrees. We're one of the few spots that we're still talking about the snow. I mean, just south of us here in Plymouth, they actually have snow just right now that are 18 inches high. So definitely an intense evening. Many places seeing record snowfall last night. So the bulk of the storm is over, but the danger from the storm is far from over. Think about it. We still have all this very dangerous cold air still in place. Another clipper is expected to make its way through, reinforcing the cold air. So all of this record breaking snow that's already on the ground is expected to stay here. Meanwhile, the low that's actually kind of making its way offshore, that actual low that produced all of this snow, that's still going to be strengthening as it makes its way offshore and kind of moves to the north. So places like Massachusetts, you're still talking about blizzard warnings right there on the Cape till about 1 p.m. today. And then these strong winds are going to take all this snow on the ground and they're still going to blow it around. So really the conditions we're experiencing right now are only going to be staying with us for the next several days. So picture temperatures just 20, if not 30 degrees below average from pretty much the Midwest to the Northeast, stretching down to the Southeast till about the middle of the weekend, guys. So prepare for it. All right, Indra, thank you so much. From a snowy Boston to really almost a snowy everywhere around here. Let's turn now to New Jersey. We told you about those 16 inches of snow packing in the state, but on, the, on top of that,